out here, my nigga. When you see me, that don't mean that I'm lonely Everyone who know my name don't know me I just had to say, y'all be acting real hard I be selfish, selfish And I don't feel sorry about it I can't be successful without it So know what I'm trying to say I let go of my own Band from Saudi Podcast, I'm your host Prince, aka Suavedo It's your boy, Diz No Brian And we are back with another episode We got a special, special guest in the building Introduce yourself Hey guys, I'm Chastity Simone. Chastity Simone is a Dallas model. She's based out of Dallas. She worldwide, really. She ain't really just no Dallas-based model. She's from the Cliff. Um, oh, Cliff thank you America. for coming on. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for reaching out. Like, I was really, I came front, I was shocked. Because I've been, all these questions I got for you today, I've been having. Really? Yeah, it just, I just didn't want to reach out. Like, I know I know we, we know each other and shit, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to come at you like, damn, bro, like, she on a big platform now. You know what I'm saying? She done been in some big name people who everybody's fan of. So I was like, man, she the homie, but I ain't finna do no shit like that. Nah. So when you reached out, I was like, damn, that's fucking crazy. So I was already prepared for this shit. So once again, thank I you for coming through. Of course. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah real talk. Um, basically, we're gonna dive right into the shit, man. This abortion law didn't pass. Oh um, what you think, like? I know you, you strong woman, like you really with the woman empowerment shit. I've been very emotional lately, like for probably like the last couple months about it. Cause I've been knowing for a long time that they've been trying to do some, yeah. do some stuff. And so I've been like, you know, just trying to get, make awareness like on yeah. my, on my platforms about the situations and stuff. And then more states have come out doing the same, trying to, you know, make the same laws. Yeah. And I just feel like. These Republicans is they re, their agenda is just not good, especially for women and and then especially the men. There's so mm-hmm. many men yeah. that signing the bill. Yeah. Like that's what I that's all I've been seeing is like a bunch of men yeah. making these decisions. Like, bro, do you know how crazy that looks? You know what I'm saying? That's scary to yeah, me. Like yeah. that's some scary, scary ass shit. And I feel like next they gonna take away birth control. They gonna take oh, away Lord. the um, morning after pills. I feel like that's next. I mean, yeah, because yeah, I mean it does get deeper than this. But you know, last night I was doing some some research, and it's pretty scary. And it kind of wanna, it kind of make me change my views. But at the same time, I do feel like the female reproduction, you know, re- reproduction st- system and yeah. organs is like very discreet and very like yeah. it's a safe place. It's a sacred place, and nobody should have like a a choice over it. Yeah. But you know, they be fucking. Selling, I mean, you know, they sell the, those, those fetuses. Like a, a fetus heart costs like three thousand dollars on the black market. Oh, so, damn. yeah, Planned Parenthood, they selling, they selling these fetuses. It's a lot of technology that we're not really aware of that's not made to the public, and they they'll take those fetuses and like put them in an incubator and, and raise these children to be like um, underground sex trafficking and human trafficking. Damn, I it gets shit. very deep. It does get very deep. So that that's a that's just a con of it, you know. For me, so I'm like, I don't know. I'm very on the fence about the whole abortion yeah. thing, just because of the black market and how they're selling these babies and putting them in incubators and letting them hoes grow up to be sex traffic and shit. Like that shit That's is crazy, right? Nuts, That's bro. like a, sign, a sci-fi movie. Yeah, yeah, like some shit. Like you would really only see, like she said, like the sci-fi movie. But now it's but it's, it's almost life. like I feel like that shit been going on for a minute. Like it's been signs or whatever, like she's saying in the sci-fi movies. I feel like yeah. those were signs to get us ready for what's going on right now and that was gonna take place in the future. Yeah, but yeah. it's just I don't know. It's just it make me not even want to have no damn kid just <laughs> because I don't want to bring my baby and I want a little girl when I do have a kid. Oh, one day. and I don't want to bring her into this shit, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's it's scary, man. It's so scary, actually. It's like. It's like it's crazy, like because it's more men doing this shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now it ain't cool. Even if it was women, it still wouldn't be cool. But it's like, damn, it's and it's older white men. Oh, white rich billionaires. Yeah, like yeah. come on, bro, this shit. Right. Wild and me. the um the laws will affect. It will be predominantly for um affect you know poor lo- uh, lower mm-hmm. class yep. and, you know, and and black yep. women. It's so a population control technique, of course, but it's just. It's a lot that goes into it. It's a lot about it. It's kind of scary to me, you know. It's scary to everybody. Look. That shit wild. 
you know, once I become a politician, you know, I'm gonna be. <laughs> in what would you things. change? What would you change if you was like when you like you say you when you become a politician? That's something you actually trying to pursue, like for right. your future. Yeah. And after future. all, yeah, like your modeling, your acting career, like yeah. all of that, like dies down. You feel like okay, I'm finna step in another field. Like, right. For okay. sure, I'm gonna be a politician. I'm gonna run for city council in okay. Dallas. Okay. Um. And then, of course, I would like to move up and stuff. You know, older when I older chastity, more conservative chastity. Okay. Not saying okay. I'm gonna be a Republican, but gotcha. you know. Where did that come from? Like, you just always been into like politics and stuff like that, or? Well, yeah. So, um, my dad, um, I grew up with my dad. He worked for the government. Oh, okay. Um, the federal building downtown and stuff, and he always wanted to run for um city council okay. and stuff like all that. Right, all right. And, he was in the army. I went to the army. Mm. I wanted to r- move up and rank in the army, just and you know have like a high security clearance and stuff. Yeah. And, but that wasn't for me, so I got out the army. So I'm just gonna do it the other way. I was gonna ask you that too. Like, how was the army life with you being such a girly girl? And I'm a girly girl. You are. I mean, we know you from the cliff, Chastity. <laughs> we know you from the cliff, but you are a girly girl, especially like now. It's like. I'm like, damn, she went to the army. Everybody was like, damn, bro, she really went to the army. And you used to post like pictures and shit with your suit on, like with your army fit on. It was like, damn, mm-hmm. bro, how, I hope she okay, like mm-hmm, yeah. because I was, <laughs> like, I mean, I know you like we are from the hood or whatever, same spot, same area, grew up yeah. with the same people, but it was there basically. You didn't have no. I'm pretty sure you built relationships, but you didn't have like no friends from back home. You couldn't really right. talk to people like on the phone. Right. So when you going off, like, how did that? And does that help you now, like being from the army and now being like in the career that you're in? Does that help you mentally, like your mentality, like you make you stronger? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, definitely mentally tough, mm-hmm. you know, um, physically tough. It was um, it was very hard, you know. So, of course, growing and experience the different things of the army definitely made yeah. me better and, yeah. you know. Made me a little smarter as well Yeah, you know? yeah for real yeah. Cause I see you be on your shit Like you know what I'm saying It's not just about I mean of course now you have become Like a public figure Especially Growing up where we come from And you done reached The whole nother level But now it's just It's more than just modeling for you Everything like You know certain posts you'll post Is like damn She not just posting modeling shit Like what people will expect mm-hmm. Um. So basically it's almost like What more could you actually do outside of modeling? Like during your modern modeling career, like have anybody tried to stop you from like reaching out or like um, getting involved with things outside of like your platform? You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like maybe it's getting involved with Black Lives Matter movement or the yeah. Me Too movement, or you know what I'm saying? Uh, things like that, especially being black. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? I'm pretty, pretty free. Okay. I, I, I'm pretty free. Um, and I feel like my demeanor and, and the way I present myself, yeah. uh, um, it, it's, it tells it. Yeah. You know, people know, like, not, don't fuck with me, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really fuck with anybody. Don't, you know, like, I'm going to be free. I'm going to talk my shit. I'm going to do whatever I want to yeah. do. Yeah. So, but nobody ever have, like, you know, it's like, oh, you probably should chill on that. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you probably should just be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've never got that. Like, mm-mm. They know better, huh? No, they know better. Oh, no. Period. <laughs> okay, so you are a model, me personally. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm from the cliff too, but I didn't go okay, to the cliff. He went to Skyline. Went to Skyline, man. Mm-hmm. I took okay. the bus. I mean, it's cool. But, um, okay, so who have you worked with? I mean, um, like I said, Prince told me, you know, you guys was friends, so I mean, I can only do so much research, yeah, yeah. you know, so <laughs> I get it from you. Who all have you worked with? Okay, um, well, I've worked long. with as far as like it's so long, like as far as like music or the music. Yeah, sport, music. Like, I, mean, beauty, anybody, I mean, anybody. Yeah, basically, music, yeah. yeah, whatever. I mean, throw it out there. Well, I've worked with um, Kanye. Okay. I've done his fashion show, mm-hmm. and I also worked with him on a magazine. I'm in um, the Yeezy Season Six magazine. Mm-hmm. Um, I've worked with um, people like well, in music, I've worked with. Who have I worked Wale. with? Wale. Oh, yeah, Wale. Miguel, I've worked with Lil Yachty. Miguel, Lil Yachty. How, how, how are you forgetting these people? You, <laughs> her list is long, bro. She's been doing this shit for a minute, fool. Like, she's been doing I, I never forget, not to get off subject. Instagram wasn't popping yet. But the first picture she, I ever seen of Chastity modeling, she was in a damn tree. 
You, I don't know if you remember the picture. Re- that was like my, my first Yeah, she was in the tree shoot. with camouflage. I was like, damn, Chastity finna start modeling. I was like, I can see that. I was like, I can see it. You know what I'm saying? She, yeah. she got a little height That's on her. So you know what I'm saying? She's skinny. She got the cheekbones and shit. I'm like, I can see that happening for her. And boom. Yeah. How many years it's been now? Like seven. So, I think I've been doing it for yes. Yeah, You've been doing this shit for a minute. Like I said, Instagram wasn't Instagram yet. Like yeah. we yeah, still yeah, just yeah. was on Twitter, yeah. Facebook, and shit. But <laughs> yeah, when she posted that picture in the tree with a little leg up. I was oh, like, okay. that's hilarious. I was like, okay, Chastity <laughs> trying to get on her shit. Like, who approached you with that? Uh, a, a girl named Ashley and a guy named Daniel. Okay. Um, they had a a, a modeling. Well, they were starting a management modeling agency gotcha, called gotcha. House of a Show. And I was like one of their first models gotcha. and stuff. And um. Yeah, so she like posted a picture of me on Facebook, and then she was like, "Who is this girl?" Mm-hmm. And then so everybody was like, "Oh, that's Chastity." Wow. And yeah, and then she put me in my first photo shoot, and then after that, I just did not stop. So you basically okay. who you with now? Basically, you started with basically when they were starting out. Like you didn't, like you didn't care at all. Basically, um, you start. You seen? I guess that y'all seen the potential in each other. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you kind of you just started off like fuck it, I'm finna do this shit with y'all. Y'all starting off, I'm starting off. Right. So it was never in, in your mind to start modeling. It was just awesome. You know, yeah. Because at I don't know because I know like my fam, some of my family members would be be like, you said you was gonna be a model when mm-hmm. I was growing oh, up, damn. but I didn't I didn't really remember it like that. I mean, I knew I wanted to be somebody. You know, yeah, I, I yeah, knew, yeah. But I really don't remember. But they was like. You used to say you wanted to be yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, well, cool. Yeah, I guess yeah. I always had that dream. Because you and your sister, um, I always call her your twin. Cause I know it's, you got more sisters, but you said what was her name? Etta. Etta. Mm-hmm. Y'all are twins. <laughs> like, y'all mm-hmm. are real, like, built the same. Well, you probably look taller than her, but built yeah, the same, like, same, like, features lot. is fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, has she tried to get any advice from you, like, as far as, like, man, look, sis, I'm trying to get in that shit, too. Like, what should I do? How should I move? Well, Etta, she's not, um, she's not a model. She, okay. But she's a rapper. She can rap really, really good. Mm-hmm. You got some shit on you? <laughs> I don't have her stuff yet. You like, know you trying to say anything about music. Hey, I'm print. just saying I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I play that home here. Yeah. As soon as she, um, as soon as they they working on music too. You know Pac Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, they in a group. Okay, that's dope. Yep. You ever gave her like any uh, feedback that she didn't like about the music that you heard? Like, nah, sis, that ain't it. I mean, yeah, you know, I give her some yeah. very good honest you got feedback. To. You gotta you know? be honest with your people, man. I mean, sometimes you don't want to hurt no feelings and shit, even if you're oh, um, yeah, I understand, but it, it's coming from somebody you know that fuck with you, though. Yeah. So that's good. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, honest feedback all the time. Oh my god. Okay. Right, okay. Nipsey, that's Nipsey, some, shit. Let's, let's get into that real quick. You say you seen the video? I seen the video. You seen the video, I seen the video. It was beautiful. What you think? I think it was beautiful. I feel like it was like a oh, like that was like a yeah, farewell, yeah, like a yeah, something yeah, like it was just yeah. like it was touching. But everything is so touchy with Nipsey, you know. That shit hurt. I can't hey. find. It was hard for me. To, I've been listening to that shit like for like forty eight hours straight. Like I ain't yeah. listened to DJ DJ Khaled's album yet. Mm-hmm. I went straight to Nipsey shit like at oh, midnight. Me too. me too. And the video is just like I was saying that it felt like he. I ain't gonna say he knew it was when it about to happen, but the way the visual is set up is like, damn. He knew it was it about to like happen. It looked like it was about, like he can tell it's about to yeah, happen. He yeah. he in the background behind Jay Stone and the All Money In crew and Crenshaw and just with the blue, blue silk on, the blue chain blue. Blue. And, and then like looking at the, <laughs> he had the white Puma suit and then on. Then they pointing like, to the sky. Yeah, pointing yeah. to the sky yeah. and stuff. It was, was like, damn, it was, and a lot of his though. stuff, like he just he, I feel like he did know because yeah. it was it was kind of different. Yeah. His death was like so different. I feel like. As soon as he died, like it was like a spark in people's that shit stopped the world body. Yeah, you know, like something yeah. turned on for us or something. Like he sacrificed himself for like more for more for like a decision or something. Yeah, it's, 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 I feel like that shit was um. I mean, like I'm always about black excellence. Like I want to see everybody make it and do positive shit. Of course, yeah. like when Nipsey died, I cried like a baby. I came from I was crying for a few days, but mm. uh, it seemed like when things like that happen. Everybody come together like temporarily. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like for yeah, example, yeah, yeah. what is it? It's May, right? Mm-hmm. He died in at the end of March. Right. We get to Rolling Loud. We just passed. Every everybody got shot up. Somebody died at Rolling Loud. Rolling NBA Loud young boy crazy. got girlfriend. That shit, shit seemed like a setup. Yeah, right. you know that's how it did this past yeah. this past Rolling Loud Miami. It did seem like a setup. Like what, what the niggas was going on with that like, shit? Like Lorraine was like, "Fuck that, y'all not finna." Yeah, he not, just he didn't even go on stage. It's like everybody got shot at. Yeah, everybody. It's like what the fuck, bro? 
That's and everybody crazy. was getting arrested. And everybody like, getting arrested. Like, yep. Damn, if you ain't getting shot out, you shot out, you getting arrested. Like, yeah, it's like one thing. If it ain't one thing, it's the other. But it's like everything was just happening. I haven't heard nothing positive from Rolling Rap, Rolling Loud this um this past. Festival. I have heard a few positive things because I had a lot of friends that was there. Yeah, and like yeah. Performing okay. and stuff, but you know, everybody didn't get messed with, but a lot of people did. You know. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, not to go back on the Nipsey situation, but I did like, you know, get some chills and shit because I heard the song before the video. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, damn. And, you know, I just wasn't a huge Nipsey Hustle fan, so it was like, damn. I felt like yeah, John Legend going to bring out them tears. Boy, like, I, started, like, I started like, I started tearing the- up. Like, damn, bro. Like, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with crying. It, 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 ain't, it ain't nothing wrong, but it, it was unexpected. Like, yeah. man, you driving to work and you hear it, it's like, damn, how long? That <laughs> was a very divine collaboration. It was. Yeah, yeah like, like, you got John Legend John on the keys, right, bro. On the keys and then. On the, the piano, tree. like going down, <laughs> going, going down for the LA with the palm trees. <laughs> right. and I'm like, God, I'm like what bro, the why did y'all have to drop this shit DJ right Khaled. now? You should have. I, I thought, say should have waited, but everybody knew what it was coming. I would have kept. Yeah. I would have kept it a little bit. Then longer. it's called higher. Then like, it's called higher. Yeah. Like it's like that's divine right there. That's scary, bro. And he, like you said, he always talked about it in his past records. Like I always thought the final video he did was um the racks in the middle. That to me was like creepy. As soon as he died, I was like, bro, this is the creepiest video. One of the creepiest videos yeah. to me because. Yeah. And that's um, my favorite song, right, man? Yeah, like that shit yeah. hard. Like, yeah, I remember seeing that shit today. I'm like, bro, you heard that new nigga? And shit? I, just, it, I just seen a video Friday. Like, I was looking at videos and shit on the TV. Oh, that's, so you just. you I just, So Friday was your first time seeing seen it. the video. The song. That shit didn't creep you out? Walking through the graveyard and shit? Yeah. Like that I said, I, I'm crazy. starting to, you know, see, feel like what she's saying. Like, he knew, bro. Like, he's kind of mm-hmm. done some shit. Like, damn, did you kind of plan it? Not plan it, but. <laughs> it's like he, no, he prepared, prepared for it. Yeah, prepared, he, he was yeah. prepared yeah. for it. Like, yeah. damn, as well. That's exactly. That's kind of like XXX when he passed. He His last video is creepy. I don't know if y'all I seen it. Yeah, seen that, it. I seen his last video. That was very creepy. With him as well. in a casket, walk, yeah. you walking in your own funeral, basically. Damn, like, for real? Yeah, yeah, and they released the video probably like two days after he died. Mm-hmm. Okay. I couldn't watch it because. I mean, I watched it, but it, I couldn't watch it again because okay. when he, as he's walking up to the casket, it's him in the casket. Mm-hmm, that was scary. But then, like, randomly, freak. he just opened his eyes and chokes himself from the casket. You know, they do the whole two screen shit. So it was mm-hmm. like, damn, bro, why did? Then yeah, the video true. went around and him slumped over in the BMW and shit. It's like, bro, that's the only thing. Like we we talked about social media. It's like, bro, we put. People put anything on social media, oh bro. Oh my god! That dude was dead in his car, man. Yeah. Come on, bro. This shit is like that. The Nipsey shit. He, they had a video of him laying yeah. down, yeah. with his shoes off, yeah. and yeah. you know he had on a white do rag, so it was just blood. Just I was like, bro. Yeah, that was that was on, right. Man. That was I don't know. That internet shit is like that's a that shit that's a, a scary world right there. I hate it. Sometimes I do hate the the fucking internet because speaking on the internet, it's almost like people fake living life. Type yeah. shit, oh, you know sure. what I'm saying, sure, sure. Yeah. and that's why I respect like Chastity not just because I know her and shit, but she from the hood, but she let her work speak for herself. Yeah, like yeah. I was talking like the other day on Twitter, I was like, damn, bro, I want to get some modeling for the merch that we got coming out in the future for the T-shirts. She was like, man, just give them out for free, which we was gonna do anyway. But that was more of like confirmation, like she, she, you know, what I'm saying she up yeah, there, yeah, yeah. like she, we gonna give them away for free anyway. But it's been people we've been trying to. Send them to them. Like, yeah, I, I'll take it, but I charge this much <laughs> if you want me to post it. I'm like, bro, I ain't, if you're not Chastity some more, I'm not paying you to model <laughs> shit. Yeah. And that's on God, on, on D Coop, nigga. If you're not Chastity, I'm not paying you to do shit. Because y'all just trying to get, y'all trying to look like look away like you really doing some shit, but you ain't got no modeling agency. Yeah. You ain't got no work. Just because you're pretty, okay, the fuck? What? What's yeah. that? That shit only goes so far, but I'm yeah. not going to pay you shit. To yeah. post our merch if we're giving it to you for free. Right. Nah, you're right. So with that being said, um, like why do you only it's almost like all your work is on social media. Right. You don't really post your life like when you moving around. Cause I know you, you rub shoulders with celebrities, you go out of town, you know you've lived in New York and shit, but you don't post that. You know what I'm saying? You post like yeah. your real life friends you with, like Bree, shout out to Bree. Um, your assistant, you know what I'm saying? Shout People like that. Tanil, shout out Pop Out. Shout out Pop Out. It's just like you don't post the the extra material shit that normal people who's trying to get to your level yeah. will um, post. That's so true. I was talking to my assistant about that because I do not post my, my yeah. life. I don't post like regular regularly. I literally only post my work. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. On Insta, like social media, but I want to do better with that because I, people want to to know the real me, especially yeah. if I want to grow and become and want to become 
relatable to people. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna start posting more about. I'm just such a private, a you private gotta, person. You ain't gotta do that. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Goddamn big big chastity Simone, nigga. That fucking that that picture you got. You got a lot of pictures that I consider my favorite. Oh, but thank that you. one picture you have, and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause right there. It's one picture you did. I don't know if you remember Karma. Y'all remember Karma Loop? Yeah, Karma Loop. You was you did a bathing suit shoot for them. I don't know what brand it was, but you was on Karma Loop's website. I remember going to the website like, damn, bro, this fucking chastity. Mm-hmm. And it's a picture that always go viral. It's like you mm-hmm. and like three other like oh, dark chocolate skin. Oh, girls. okay, you talking about um cherry? And you got the red lipstick on. I was like, that. damn, bro, like that's like my favorite picture in the belly picture you got. The belly picture. You basically you sitting in the chair. Oh, recent, the recent. Yeah, the oh. most recent picture. That's like my favorite. Like I'm actually, um, I was hoping you brought some shit. I would have bought it from you, but I just ordered it from your website. Okay. Um, to post in my crib. Oh, that would be amazing. I'm doing that for real. I might do it today. Actually, um, I got some money now, but um, <laughs> but with your work, like, do you feel like people envy you at all? Like a lot of the upcoming, especially like in the Dallas scene, like, do you feel like people like kind of like try to shit on you a little bit? Um, you know, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really pay attention to gotcha. that type of stuff, or I don't. Um, I just don't put myself in position to even care. Care, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't, I know, I don't know if somebody is or ever gotcha. had. If I probably, you just my perspective. Shit. Yeah, yeah, my perspective is not gotcha. even on that level. Like my frequency is just not there. Because I remember um, when Clyde died, rest in peace to Clyde, of course, rest we all got to meet real. meet up in the Carter, lot, par- Carter, Carter High parking lot every time somebody died. Right. And when Clyde died, when you walked up. I cannot believe I did that. When you walked there up. There was so many people out People there. was looking at you like, oh, she thinks she all that. It was like, she ain't did shit. All she did was walk up. Oh, damn. Oh, I was she talking was about when up. I spoke. When you spoke. It's kind of like when you was walking through, though, people was moving out your way. People know who you are. Right. People knew who you are and they, they knew your status. It's changed now. When you, they kind of like made away and people was like, ooh, oh, she, y'all see her with that wig on? And she, when you got done, ooh. you snatched the wig off. Oh, I should, no, no, my, my brother made my wig catch on fire in the park. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> but you got the face, though. She, oh, yeah, I mean, I'm icy with the, with, with yeah. the, without the wig. That's yes. all I was. She ain't tripping. She, she and, got the nice face. Oh, so you thought she just pulled this yeah, shit off? Yeah, I thought she like. just pulled it off because she, she got the fade, which is but sexy. But it was Clyde. Yeah, yeah. Clyde did that because Clyde hated wigs. When I, when I first got, got my, uh, my haircut, he was so in love with it. He was like, man. And then but when I fine. when he seen me in a wig, he was like, man, why you wearing a wig? Take that off. Like, yeah. why you wearing a wig? He used to get mad when I have on a wig. And I, <laughs> at his candle light, my wig <laughs> caught on fire. I had to take it off. That was so that was, that that was from that Clyde. Happened? That was from Clyde. That was from Clyde. <laughs> Rest, Clyde. Rest in peace to Clyde. Rest in peace, Clyde. That's crazy. That's I never knew that shit. I miss that nigga, man. Yeah, it, and the people that was around me, it was so fucking funny. I didn't even know my hair was on fire. He was like, y'all hair on fire. I was like, oh my God. I was like, shit, she probably like, she done her speech now. Shit, she finna show that fade again. Shit. I fuck with the fade, Chastity, so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's. That's crazy, man. Um, <laughs> do you deal with mental health at all? Like being in the industry you in, like um, you know what? Yes, I have depression. Mm-hmm. Um, that's real I for you to uh, admit that too. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I would be like, if if I go through like a phase, I literally just got out of like a two day depression thing. Why? What happened? Because I was so I was so emotional about um life. I'm very okay. um, passionate about the things that goes on, go on around the world and mm-hmm. stuff. And then, like, what was happening with abortion laws, what's happening with um, with trade and, like, the mm-hmm. wars that's brewing over there in the yep. South China Sea and the Persian Gulf and just uh, so much, so, so you many things on, is you, happening. So you really be tuned in you to tuned in. and shit, right? Oh, yeah. No, I don't watch CNN. Okay, well, like, like you research. know, you, you in tune with the news and... Oh, yeah. Outside of like what you do, you yeah, really I'm into not, with yeah, the I'm world. Yeah, I'm not like a dist- I don't get distracted yeah, about yeah, yeah. small things like celebrity life. Gotcha, gotcha. I, 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 I play into it, you know. If somebody asks me, you know, I, you know, but for the most part, when things happen, I really don't even talk about it on the internet. I yeah, just, I mean, it's just, yeah, yeah, that's tough. But I mean, I don't get get off into it. I I know the shit going on in China, which I mean, I don't understand why we fucking with them, but. I can't watch the news. <laughs> I can't watch. It's the just news. I be at work, bro. So I mean, people just talk about it, and it's like, damn. Really? Sometimes that shit just pop up on like the the social media. And yeah, I just throw yeah, right yeah, past yeah. like man, because yeah, I deal hard. with mental health too. Like I deal with suicide, sort of suicidal thoughts, depression, mm-hmm. anxiety. I go to therapy. Mm-hmm. My I brother, um, shout out to Young Nino. He just now getting out of his phase of like trying to go to therapy, trying yeah, to yeah, leave yeah. the pills alone, mm-hmm. the drugs alone, because. 
she growing up in the hood see that's all you know you struggling a lot yep you know and mental saying? health awareness was not even a thing. Yeah, know? like we was, we would be like, ooh, like. And a lot of people still mm-hmm. against it though. I don't yeah, want, a I don't lot know of people, why. a lot of people are like, you know, why are you talking about you? Uh, Mr. Be just be strong. You know, yeah. like that's what people think. You should just that's be a, strong. It's like it's not that easy. Yeah. Not the easiest. We're like, oh, be strong, okay. No. <laughs> That's the same thing, which you know, like when you see a little boy cry, oh, stop crying. You, you yeah. supposed to be a boy. You, you, yeah, you a man. Yeah, yeah, don't cry. It's like, Damn, yeah. That's tough. Yeah, yeah. It is tough. Yeah. That's nuts, bro. Um, like with the mental health thing, like you were saying, it's not, it's not easy. And I was reading an article about this model recently. Mm-hmm. Real chocolate, of course. She from overseas. Talking about, um, I know exactly. Um, A. Jack Dean. I think that's her name. I yeah, don't know. I, um, yeah, that was very sad. I seen a video that she posted. Yeah, what happened? She just she she signed to IMG Worldwide. IMG is like the biggest, um, the number one modeling agency in the world. Mm, damn. Okay. And she was crying and frustrated because of they wasn't treating her right. You yeah. know. Oh, okay. So I'm, I don't know like the logistics or like what exactly happened, but it was just like you know she basically was like. If I if I if I kill myself, mm-hmm. it's because of y'all. Yeah, you yeah, know, so y'all yeah. need to feel guilty about it. I yeah. want y'all because if you know y'all fucking with me, you know what I'm saying. What, like what pressure come with? Do you understand where she coming from with yeah, that? Yeah, totally. I mean, I although I've been not, I don't really like agencies. Got you. You know, um, because of th- those reasons, because mm-hmm. they treat you unfair, they will do things to you. That, you know that. You'll be like, well, damn, why the fuck would you do that? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like it's some shit like that. And but I totally understand. Like, but I'm, I deal with that, that type of stuff. Like recently, shit, you know, people uh, email me and then tell me uh, to <laughs> tell me about a job, right? <laughs> then they'll be like, well, you know, can you come into the office um, for a final casting? I'm like, final casting, bitch! I didn't even know yeah, I was casting, yeah, bitch! I'm real. direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah If you yeah. you want me, you got it. My email. I'm yeah, direct. Yeah, come to me. Like, there's no casting going on with me. Okay, so, and they'll just be like, well, we went we went another way. I'm trying like, to make you feel away, basically, just because yeah, like, you, bitch, you got it. My yeah, email. I didn't yeah, even, for real. I didn't even know you. I didn't know that shit worked like that. Like I didn't, just with we, models, I thought you just yep. We on the outside looking in. Yeah. I always thought if you pretty, you, you uh, just you go a, and do the shit. A, a sexy yeah. nigga or some <laughs> shit, you just get picked up. Boom, you on billboard. Yeah, you on goddamn um uh-uh. in the uh-uh. mall or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, no, magazines. It's, it's politics. It's politics and everything. I love it, yo. This shit hard. It's not easy at yeah. all. And then especially me being black, dark skin, not not um agency represented. Yeah. And I'm handling all my business by myself. It's gotcha. like, you know, it's hard. I feel like you done a good ass job doing this shit by yourself. Like, I, I guess you yeah. kind of moving like. That's how I feel about independent artists or whatever. Like yeah. when they when they finally sign to a major, they don't own their name no more. They yeah. don't own their records no more. That's another reason why I feel like Nipsey also was special. He did all that shit independent, and when he did sign, he owned everything. He owned everything. Yep. But yeah. people be so quick to jump in. Oh well, my life is about to change. I'm about to sign sign my name away, sign my life away, and they be depressed. Like be look depressed. what Lil Uzi going through. He can't even release no fucking he can't music. Release music because oh, DJ Drummond and ain't fucking yeah. having it. Like no, nah, nigga, you gonna have to wait. And they done signed some other nigga. He ain't even putting out no music. That's mm. crazy, bro. I forgot his, his name. His name is Jake Harlow. Okay. He from um Kentucky. He fire. He white. You know what I'm saying? But he fire. He ain't on no gangster goon shit. Yeah, but yeah. Ain't heard nothing from him in like a year and a half. It's like, damn, you you did sign a DJ Drum and DJ damn. Cannon, and they got little Uzi, like which is their biggest act. So Uzi is like, like the, one of the biggest. I think they need to leave him alone. He's just so precious. They, they get them young niggas, bro. They get them niggas with a million dollars and and they th- and they run through that like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. jury and silly ass shit. Yeah, but it's crazy. almost like why they be so quick to sign a deal when y'all know y'all watch everybody talk. I've been yes, I watched the Wu Tang documentary. You got to think about it. They like I, like we said, nigga. If your mama's struggling and yeah. you know oh, you yeah. ain't got no food in the refrigerator, yeah. you gonna yeah. take. You gotta do what you gotta. You gotta do, do what you gotta do. do. They gonna take it. Yeah. But you got to make sure you're doing what you're doing, and you making sure you're in position to place mm-hmm. yourself in the right, in the right, right space, and, and and be, yeah, you you're know, right. do the right thing. You know, For like so let me sign real right now, but hey, let me make sure you, you know, get your lawyers in check. Yeah. Like, make read sure, the fucking paperwork, contract, read, make sure yeah. everything is, you, you know, know and see yeah. if you can like 
change and do something different yeah. and, you know like make sure that's part of the country yeah you maybe right. they feel like uh damn if i don't sign right now I ain't, i'll never get this opportunity yeah. you know shit. black people or the or or people that's not really educated they don't even know that they that shit is negotiable you can negotiate anything mm-hmm. you know yeah. what i'm saying like you don't have to just go with the first thing yeah you know you can take a step back think about yeah. it come back and be like well this is you know yeah that's, that's negotiating i feel like anything is negotiable you do you have a do you struggle sometimes like when i guess big brands come at you and you turn it down and be like damn i shouldn't have did that like i mean yes yeah, like i'm going through <laughs> a, a, a thing now where okay. i'll be like i don't know like i don't want to be too high. I don't want to ask for too much, or yeah. I don't. I don't know. If my, I don't want to get low ball. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, this shit's stressful, ain't it? It's so stressful, right? And, and see, right? the way you say you not signed to an agency, so see, I know you be trying to get all your coins and make sure it, the move is right for you. You know right, what I'm saying? Exactly. So, I do have people though, like my sister. She, my oldest sister Erica. She like okay. helped me with like contracts and stuff, and she helped me, you know, t- t- put numbers in place and gotcha. stuff. And you know, so I have people in my corner. They oh, that's good. Me. You got your family involved, so. Oh yeah, for sure, that for sure. Helps a lot too. So you know they ain't gonna fuck you over, especially it's your big sister, right? Mm-hmm, my oldest. So, sister. Yeah, your oldest sister. So yeah, they ain't gonna. Like my second mom. Play. And you the baby? I'm the um baby girl. I'm number seven. Number seven. Okay, so yeah, I know they looking out for you real tough. Yeah. Who did you turn down recently? Like anybody you turned down that shit that's big. But you like, man, shit, I don't need that shit. Like, I don't. You wasn't saying I didn't need it, but I had to turn down Kim Kardashian. Uh, only because I had a shoot with um, with Jeffree Star at the gotcha. same day. So I had to turn down her um, her oh, campaign. Oh, yeah. okay. So you, the timing basically was bad. Yeah, the, it was okay. bad timing. So you would have did it, but it just. It yeah. Was yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But I mean, as far as like big, I really don't too much. If the, if the, if the money is right and the. And, and you know the exposure is right yeah. as well too. I, I usually go ahead and I usually do it. Oh, okay, gotcha. okay. But um, no, my assistant told me a, a name, but I'm not gonna name. Oh no, that's cool. no, that's yeah, real. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, we did that. We, <laughs> yeah, we ain't here for that yeah, shit. Yeah, really. Nah, but I did. I, that was recent though. I had to because gotcha. um, to lunch. I love to lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had to like turn it down because it wasn't it wasn't the right money. I mean, wow. I just can't be on set all day yeah. for a lot of artists. Um, a lot of Dallas artists was in that. Um, yeah. Like, like local artists, a lot of them was oh, in her? that. Yeah, her like her rollout that she did out here for the recent album. Uh-huh. I was supposed to be in it too, but yeah, I, don't know. I think they. I don't know you. You probably would have stood out a lot more, so that's probably good because they probably would have been looking at you like, man, y'all brought this big ass model, big name model in here with all us little folks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the artists, bro, not saying they was ugly, you know what I'm saying? But shit, oh. they oh, ain't fucking right? Chassie Simone, nigga. Like, if we keeping it a buck. I and a lot of them are cocky before. as fuck too. I hate that shit. Like, okay, you was in Salon's video. Okay, what's next for you? What what, what else you gonna do? You gonna put out some more music? Cause you're not a model. You really an artist who just so happen to get in this shit. Yeah. Okay. But it's just like, okay, now what's next for you? You got that exposure, shit. Use that shit. But they just yeah. be, oh, I got a lot of views. I got a lot of retweets. I got a lot of <laughs> likes. I'm I'm cool. All those things. Are, I mean, all those things are fine. All those things are. Yeah, really good, but it's, it, yeah, it's not it real don't make dollars. Course. It don't make it no not. money. So, so what's what's the goal? Like I know you say you want to get into you know politics and what's yeah. the goal? You know, going forward. You know. Well, the goal for my modeling for sure is you know I want to be in museums and stuff, mm, and no, I want um I want a staple like piece. I want I'm gonna tell you exactly who I want to to draw me. His name is um un- um. Kendall Wiley, he did the um, he did the portrait for he did the Obama and, and Michelle Obama oh, portraits. Okay. okay, okay. He drew them, and it's like in the African American Museum Got in Washington D.C. I want him to draw me too, and I want to be in the African American Museum, and I want to be in the um, MoMA too. It's so much shit that I feel like you're gonna do that's not gonna be surprising to me. Like when you was in a Wale video, you on the archive, of course. You that's the first person you see if you Google Wale, pretty young thing. You are gonna see Chastity, right? Yeah. I was on World Star at work. I'm strolling. I strolled past it. I had to go back up. I'm like, damn, is that fucking Chastity, bro? <laughs> is that Chastity in Wale video? I, I bet pick- everybody be like, is that Chastity? Yeah, I, and I clicked it. <laughs> she in that whole 
with no rhythm though really she can't <laughs> dance with shit let's oh, keep it a- chastity you know oh, you can no, you chastity <laughs> you know you can't hey. dance. you pretty than a bitch but you know you can't dance bro you right but, i can't but i was like damn bro chastity is in wale's video but, but it wasn't shocking. every time but every time i be um in the videos and stuff, when they be like, "Can you dance?" I'll be like, "No." <laughs> so you tell them up front, like, you "I can't dance." Up, like, no, I'm not dancing. So don't be surprised. No. But it wasn't shocking to me, like shit like that. Like, it's a lot of shit. Like, for example, I feel like I'm gonna see you on Sports Illustrated mm-hmm. soon. It ain't no more Sports yeah. Illustrated. It is Sports yes, Illustrated. It is. No, Tyra uh, Banks just got the cover. Yeah, that was like the last one. They, because they, she gonna be the next one. Fuck they, you, man. Uh, they canceled. I'm, that's for real? I'm, yeah, they, for real. You can Google it. They canceled. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, I, they, they was, because I guess people don't really do the magazines no more. So they, I just bought Dreamville at Double XL shit the other day. I was like, oh, damn, okay. y'all got this deal? Yeah, I would have agreed. She would have been on there, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I see what you're would, saying. Yeah, they were like, Tyra Banks and the, one, the Maybelline one. commercials and shit. I feel like I see you in New York doing, waving at a cab. You know how the fucking commercials. <laughs> yeah, be. I, exactly how they um, be right. He's that's funny. Uh, yeah, you know, I like, bro. This dude here, man. Is, hey, you know him. He's yeah. funny, uh, man. <laughs> billboards in the mall, like shit. Like when I see, when I, I know I'm going to see it one day, and I'm yeah. pretty sure you. That's your goal too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to sure. be shocking as fuck. Like it's not going to be. Oh shit, that's Chastity. You know what I mean, that shit ain't. She yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. She doing the I, thing. I love that. Thank you. I appreciate no that. No problem. Um, but yeah, man, like, so you did live in New York at once upon a time, right? Yeah, I lived in New York of 2013 through 2016. God, how was it? Like, how was the adjustment, especially you being from the South? You know, I love New York. It's my favorite city. Got you. I like, you know, it's like I know I'm from Dallas, and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. all day. Yeah. But um, I love NYC. It's like it's. It's kind of the place where I became who yeah. I am. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was it was beautiful. It's like a boiling pot for the whole world. So it's like people from all across the world. It just comes there, and everybody is just so free, and yeah. no yeah, one's yeah, judging, yeah. And, yeah. and everybody's helping each other because we know it's yep. hard, yep. very hard to live in New York. So everybody is just we trying to make yeah. it. Yeah, you know what real. I'm saying? So that's 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 New York. I've been to New York recently. I, they motherfuckers is rude. <laughs> they are rude. You can't stop and take no pictures. You are gonna get ran over. Can't do that. Oh no 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 no. Uh-uh. Like, like, did you adjust to that at all? Like rude ass people. I mean, you know what? I was just when I got there, I wasn't like oh no. I was I just it, I wasn't there for that. I was gotcha. I literally went there and like went straight into the game. Gotcha, like gotcha. I started playing the game. Like yeah yeah yeah. Literally, I didn't even. I can't. I, I don't recall anybody being rude. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, I heard about it and stuff. But shit, I was being rude too. Maybe because I got somewhere to be. True. Yeah, true. So and you know, I and I, I, I but I literally stayed away from like where a lot of people was at though. Yeah. Like you know, like that's like like Times Square like, shit. Yeah, like yeah. that's what like you going to Times Square? Like what? Where are you going there? Like Ew. you know, or you going to <laughs> you going to downtown? Like yeah, you know, like people you know people that lived there and like got you. We went on no shit like that. The motherfuckers rude. And the guy went to Target. Um, I think it was in Manhattan. You know, they, they got some weird shit in New York. Like, they targets and shit be downtown. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I went to Target and I had to use the bathroom. I said, you know, I'm from the South. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, you know what I'm saying? Where the bathroom Aww. at? We've been walking and shit. <laughs> this motherfucker gonna tell me. Over there. She didn't look at me. <laughs> she didn't point directly where the bathroom at. She just said, over there. I still didn't find a bathroom. I ended up leaving. I'm like, bro. How did, like why are y'all so fucking and mad? There's no for? fucking bathrooms nowhere. It's no bathroom, and they're not gonna let you use no bathrooms either. If you, mm. if you, especially if you're a tourist and you go in there, hey, can I use your bath? You gotta buy something. <laughs> you can't, you can't do this. You can't. No, um, we don't have no bathroom. Niggas just walked out the bathroom, right? right yeah, yeah, but yeah. y'all don't have one. Okay, right. That's no, cool. They, they funny. It's funny in New York, but you know, man, it's it's hard to live there. You know, you be coming across some weird ass people online, like when you do your questionnaires, for example. Oh yeah. I be watching your stories. <laughs> and um somebody was like uh you was like what do y'all want to see more of from me mm-hmm. this one nigga i guess said uh I want, <laughs> he was like i want to see more feet pics i was like what kind of creepy ass shit like how do you respond like how do you that make you feel as a woman because like i'm be laughing like a hoe i'm getting older or whatever and i'm learning to respect women like especially when i'm at the gym and shit mm-hmm. you know they're, they're gonna be in a tights they're gonna be in a sports bra mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying exposed but i don't exposed. i don't just titties i won't i won't look at them directly you know what i'm saying like on some uh like oh yeah she got a fat ass or oh yeah she got this and that like mm-hmm. how do you deal with shit like that like are you, are you is it comfortable for you or is you like man fuck it like it is what it is i'll be like whatever yeah i'll laugh i'll just be like hmm 
you know, I'll, I'll probably like post it like to make a joke, yeah, yeah, like yeah. to show like you know, <laughs> I deal with so many DMs yeah. of like creepy ass men saying some weird shit. But Damn, do you block them? I don't even be blocking them. Okay, you don't give a fuck. Give yeah, because you ain't gotta open it. Like that block yeah. shit. You ain't gotta yeah, open they gotta open it. it. Like but that, you know, niggas that. needs to be weird with, especially in today's society, and yeah. niggas pulling up on women and stalking them. And well, I mean, had some stalkers too. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. In your I had to like years? it was like bad, bad. Like, like you knew, had, like, like you knew who they were. Like they'll follow mm-hmm, every move. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I kind of knew who it was now, but then okay. I did not know who it was. Like they would email my family, email all my friends. Mm-hmm. How the hell they get all this? Yeah, for I real. guess they would like see because you know most people like most of my friends they got that email and they yeah, yeah. like that. Oh, okay, this was okay. like when I lived in New York. I had like a whole stalker, and he was she would or he or she <laughs> would um like email me every day and like say I know you're um because I used to talk date this white man and he was rich and. <laughs> And he, I guess and she, that's what they would say. Like, yeah. That's what they would say in the emails. Yeah. So, like, my f- friends and my family, like, like thought it was, like, a secret. Or, yeah. Like, it's not a secret. I mean, I know I'm, I don't post him on, like, social media, gotcha. but I don't post. I don't, really, I don't you post don't my life. life. Yeah. 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 But they, so, they thought it was, like, bad, and they was, like, calling me a prostitute and and all of this stuff. So how did you find out who it was? I didn't find out, really. I don't know who it was. I just know it was somebody close to me or, oh. or somebody who, like, had, was obsessed with me. That's weird as Every fuck. day That's scary as fuck For a long time I know your DMs Is full of dudes um, Like we grew up with Who trying to like Get at you Do you be like Nah nigga you, you, you probably used to Shit on me When we was growing up Like is your DMs Full of niggas Who we grew up with Like who Mm-mm. went to Carter Or from the cliff No Mm-mm. They probably like, more, I can't more get to More respect thing. Like they know what you Yeah know. yeah, yeah. Oh, Like they, nobody yeah. ain't trying to Um like nobody be in my DMs that I like grew up with and stuff. Yeah. I be seeing little comments though when you when you post your shit. I be seeing niggas we went to school with who just be. I be like, man, come on, bro. Like, why you looking like a groupie, bro? Like, damn, let her live. My nigga, don't do all that shit. But I know you, yo, your, your shit be your notifications be going off so fast, so you don't catch nothing. I read everything. I be reading comments. And a lot of times I don't be knowing who people is, you know. Yeah. Cause I moved away, um, like right, like you know, in 2013. So, so you made a lot of more friends, like when you did move. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, I don't be knowing who people is on Instagram. Got you. Sometimes, like, I don't be knowing like gotcha. their name and stuff. So, mm. but I do read all my comments though. So, got you. But you probably still don't know who these people is because I'm pretty. You sure say you, you do read all your on. comments. Mm-hmm, I read my comments. Oh damn. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. I don't even. I barely get some, and I don't even read. Them. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> what I mean, she just be like, you just. But I know you probably get way ten times more than me, and I barely read mine. Shit. I, get a bit. I be reading them though, cause you know I just want to see what people saying. Would you do the um? Is would you do the Victoria's Secret uh, runway show? Would you do that? Like, is that of something course. you would pursue? I would. Yeah, of course I would. Got you. But. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get signed to. So you do have to be signed to an agency, like a particular yeah, yeah, agency, to, to get in that. Yeah, you have to. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, oh, I never man. knew that shit. Sure. I always that. That's one of the things that was on my mind. Like yeah, two of them. I'm like, Chastity gonna do that shit one day too. But like I said, we on the outside looking in, and your in like your world. Yeah. But it's a lot of shit we don't know. So. Yeah, you gotta be signed to um, um, go, even go to the casting. You Got know? you. Okay. Or to know yeah. when the casting is, or you know what I'm Got saying. You. So. Yeah, you definitely have to be signed to 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 get that for sure. You plan on remaining like independent, like how you are now, like with the um, people you I know started I'm with. Gonna get, I'm I, I'm not gonna sign to a modeling agency, but okay. I'm gonna rather sign to like a big talent agency. Got you. Okay. Because of I'm not just a model, you know. I want to start acting, of course. Correct. That's oh, okay. I'm a, Correct. Who I'm getting into. I thought you was gonna be in that Tupac movie. I seen you like you was because you was you like oh, you, my, you was in um, LA and shit. You yeah, had my to, management, yeah. my management, um, they did the distribution. Got gotcha. you. Um, okay. To Tupac, so I, you know they paid me to promote the movie. Got gotcha. you. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Who um who you listening to right now as far as like female MCs? MC Like who you like? Be like yeah, she fired. She killing that shit. So shout out to my nigga. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my bitches though for the show. Okay, so of course Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, definitely. I was just bumping her. Uh, Tiara Wack. New, new album jam. Do her new album jam. Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, I like her new album for okay. sure. It's all right. It's not better than Tina Snow, but okay. it's, 
It's good though. Uh-huh. You know, it's not bad. It's I a, listen to it like a I'm a nigga. Yeah, it really don't know what to. I mean, with niggas like what we supposed. I to can't ride down the street listening to Megan and Stanley. I just I had to. All listen city to girls. <laughs> all Cardi B. All three of them go hard though. You, you know, can ride down the street listening to like Tiara Wack. See, I okay, fuck with okay. Tiara Wack, Rap City. But who else you listen to? I I listen to Sunye. Shout out to Sunye. Shout out to uh, Salma Slim. Shout out shout out to Audra the rapper. Okay. Shout out to um. I'm naming all my friends gotcha, right now. Basically. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> hey, yeah. Why not? Shit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why you know. Nah, I feel I feel like you know the whole female rap game is like dominating right now. Like yeah. they're killing they're killing it. And I'm I'm just super excited for for women. And music and women just doing everything. Yeah, nah, for real. That's good. We need Tiara it. Wack. Tiara Wack is killing that shit, bro. She did that Tim Westwood freestyle recently. Oh, okay, okay. I was I like, damn, I'm, like, that's like her and Rhapsody. Rhapsody is like my favorite. Fire. She's a fucking beast. But to see, like like you said, Tiara Wack, it's refreshing to hear a woman actually rap like on, like, you, I'm, like they pretty as hell, but. They can get on that, that grimy they rap really, shit for yeah, real, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like even Asian doll to me, even though she got a little teeny bopper shit here and there teeny sometimes, bopper. but okay. she can rap her ass off, nigga. Yeah. Like she know how to get in that booth and spit some shit. Yeah, she do. But yeah. man, you got any more questions? We finna wrap this shit up. I know you gotta go, Des. And uh, I don't wanna hold up, Chastity. What, uh, she gotta go get her mimosas. Mimosas. <laughs> she, uh, she she need that fix. Okay, so what? <laughs> so what's um. I know you you're big, but you want to be bigger. What's holding you back? What what you feel like you can do more on you know to get where you trying to get? Um, signing to an agency. This, That's okay. the only thing. So what's holding you back from that? You just kind of I wait. just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. I want to be um a trailblazer of yeah. not being able to do okay. it and still yeah, making shit happen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's real though. All right. What's your um? Give out your social media. Social media. Well, my social media is. Chastity Simone And that is C-H-A-S-I-T-Y S-A-M-O-N-E And that's Instagram Facebook And then on Twitter It's Chastity Simone X No no DMs niggas Like don't be weird no, bro see, She shouldn't have said that Cause I mean She says she look at the DMs She read the comments So It don't matter She ain't gonna respond anyway I ain't gonna respond Yeah she ain't gonna respond anyway um, So yeah <laughs> Follow me on Twitter At said ain't prince S-A-Y-I-T-A-I-N-T P-R-I-N-C-E Follow me on Instagram, S U A V E D O E. Uh, follow the um, podcast page at Band from Society Podcast. Follow Band me. Band from Society. Thank you. We're going to have to use that as a drop. Yeah. Get that shit right and now. follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter at Twitter King to T W I T underscore H E R underscore K. And shout out to Blue Man behind the camera, shout man. Thank Blue. you once again. Thank Blue. you, Chastity, for coming through. Thank you guys day. for having me. Um, we really do appreciate that. Like we really do. Thank you. Nah, for, and, our first, and she was our first female too. She was our first. Wow. Yeah, she was our first yeah. big Ain't female. Ain't that about yeah. a bitch, y'all? No, just <laughs> yeah, we gotta put this shit on the wall or some shit. Yeah, so um, <laughs> once again, thank you for coming through. I really nah, do appreciate real. that. Um, Mr. Bam from Saudi Podcast, yep, we yep. out.